who is a pink lover out there i definitely am clearly if you can see me this is a very soft pink makeup look i have uh, done today and i'm very excited to take you through it because there are some very exciting products i've used the focus is on skin and keeping the colors very minimal and yet uh, making you glow hang on and you'll see exactly how i got this Hi, I'm Aparna Ganesh and I welcome you to my channel Joy Geeks where I create beauty and wellness content trying to really explore beauty inside out. This is the kind of makeup look you could wear to a party, you could wear it to an everyday event and it would make you look very graceful, very subtle, very uh, pleasing to the eye. It's very, you know, gentle if you can see. Uh, the skin is made to shine but the eye is kept soft and subtle. It is pink but not in an overpowering way. So I'd say it's a soft pink look. So I began with this beautiful Farsali rose gold skin mist all over my face. You could see the golden flakes it had in it. It's very dewy, it's very moisturizing. Dry skin girls will totally love this. I have normal skin but when I want a dewy look, I totally use this as the base and it shines through even through my foundation. You can see now, even after I've dried it for a bit, it is still completely dewy and sticky actually. Moving on to my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in Tan Deep Honey. Well, I have been loving this concealer and it is very natural for my uh, concealer. But I would probably need to review all my shades of foundation and concealers considering I've been home last 3-4 months. My shade has kind of lightened a bit but it still looks natural and nice. But you can sh go a slight uh, lighter shade if you wish. Moving on to this beautiful foundation from LA Girl. This is Pro Coverage HD Long Wear Illuminating Foundation. When I want a glowy look, this is a fab foundation. I mix two shades that is soft honey and sand. Sand is to be used little, it's a little dark. So this combination helps me because I can, uh, you know, kind of adjust it according to my skin tone on that particular day and you will see that it's just matching me just the way I like it it should just blend in with my skin just you know like a half a point lighter than my skin it should be if it's too light too much lighter then I don't like the effect of that and I use this Morphe's sponge dabbing it all over my face you will see how illuminating it is and how dewy it makes the skin look Already I've used the uh, rose skin mist, the gold skin mist from uh, Farsali and on top of that I'm using this even while I'm dabbing it you can see it's uh, it's got a little shine to my skin and you can see the uh, change in the color on the forehead as in the difference between my color and the foundation color but it's still very slight so it's okay for the rest of the face it works but I like how this color is blending well with my whole uh, arms and everything for me the base is most important it has to be natural and looking great that I think makes or breaks your uh, makeup look if it's too fair it, you can easily look you know very ghostly very uh, scary of course do it on your neck your ears uh, just dab it all over make sure it's blended in well and um, this is a foundation you should definitely try out. See there, it just looks like my skin. It has a little illuminated effect which I like. Now watch how I just kind of take care of it. I'm using this beautiful K-Beauty powder uh, in the shade Olive. I have an entire video on my thoughts on this with the translucent powder as well. The packaging, everything I've discussed in that video. I'll try to link it up above. Now this is a technique I use when I want to keep my face dewy. I just use the powder where it's needed, that's under the eyes, on the nose, around the nose, slightly on the forehead and you will see that by doing that you have not over mattified your whole face. You have just taken care of the areas that might be shiny or that really needs to get set like your under eyes and stuff. So you will see that the effect overall on the face is not uh, getting you know, entirely matte with the powder. Look how the skin looks lovely, yet the nose and under eyes is matte. Now this is PAX um, Eye Base in the shade 06. This has completely changed my eyeshadow game. Now this I go a lot more lighter. If 
you see my concealers are normally very natural but just for the eyeshadow base this is a lot lighter than my skin tone and with a reason now this eye base i really like because i have super oily lids and this um really uh, extends the life of my eyeshadow i feel and does not crease it it's taken care of i use the k beauty translucent powder to just set it so that i can move on with my other products although i am going to um, use a cream product i still uh, did set it this is another product from pack this is the eyebrow in um, 02 shade and it it did seem a little too dark for me uh, sometimes but because this particular look is very basic and very subtle i want to focus on my eyebrow really define it well because i am not going to go heavy with my eyeshadow or you know the blush or contour or anything so the eyebrow can really define my face and of course i use a spoolie from another uh, you know eye eyebrow pencil to make sure i brush out all the excess this will take care of most of the look although right now it's looking a little too much this watch what happens this is these are the beautiful k beauty i crayons i'll tell you this is the shade bliss i it's a very natural brown shade a lot of uh, if you're a lot darker than me maybe it may not even show up on you already on me it's super natural i just use this as a transition shade Uh, these crayons blend super easily i love how quickly you can do this without having to use brushes without having to clean brushes and it's something you can do on the go so i used uh, bliss uh, initially to just kind of use that transition and then i moved on to blush now from the outside it looks like it's a dark uh, brown no it's a pink actually it's a beautiful light pink uh, the the outer covering is quite deceiving Now I put this all over my lid quite uh, lavishly because this is going to be my base color and uh, this is I'll I'll tell you there's just one more thing uh, I add on on top of this to help me achieve that subtle glow look that I want now I put it all over my eyes and then just use my finger to blend the outsides of this eye look this eye shadow you can see this is super subtle this was just one layer after i blended it i went in again with the same eye shadow stick which is plush so that i kind of intensify it if it's kind of got faded off a bit with my blending and now you can see how this looks on both my eyelids very subtle very soft matte right now moving on to this sheen the shiny uh, crayons that they have this is in the shade blushed moonlight a very pretty uh, pink with a little shine on it uh, not very sparkly not very uh, loud and because i'm putting it on blush it's even kind of uh, getting a little more subdued and this is exactly how i wanted it i don't want it to be too shiny on the top of my lid so i just lavishly apply this again i will blend it uh, on the outsides again you can see how uh it looks with that blushed moonlight on both my eyelids still very subtle but slightly lifted very understated i just love the way this looks now uh i did add a little of a dark brown shade called indulge just for the edges very very soft again it it's not going to be very loud just at the edges of my eyes and then i take a brush and i just uh smudge all of that as well and you have this soft defined edges on your eyelids very very soft you can see it's very minimal i move on to this beautiful brow and eye highlighting product from milani one side is a matte highlighter the other side is the illuminating one i think i went with the illuminating one yes that's what i used it's again very subtle and uh i still did blend it with my fingers because i don't want to leave harsh lines it's very encouraging for me if you guys like the video with a thumbs up because it helps the channel uh grow it would be your way to support the channel and also you know if you uh subscribe to the channel there are a lot of people who are watching without subscription it doesn't cost you anything guys just go ahead right away subscribe and we'll continue with the video moving on to the skay beauties 
eyeliner in the shade Raven Hue. It has um, a blender at the end of it, a, a sponge tip, a smudger at the other tip, which works perfectly well for me on days when I want to just have a very light smudged out soft definition on my eye. So I take this and very lightly kind of create not a wing but a smudged out wing like smoky uh, feel to it so that there is that definition there but not in your face and not too stark at all. You can see this it has defined my eyes in a very soft way and then ta -da! this is what you can say is like the star product this is the classic gold loose powder that K-Beauty came out with it has that subtle sheen you will see just excess dust out and look at that I really liked how it is very subtle and you can build it up so I first went with one layer I loved how natural it looked and it still has a little wet shine but still not overpowering see now you can see my under eyes is looking slightly darker than it needs to look with that uh, concealer anyway now we are on the highlighter this is like I went on with the second coat on it to just see how beautiful it looks or is it looking too much <laughs> and yeah I, I was wondering if it's gonna be too blingy but it didn't actually turn out to be too blingy oh check my face out what a monkey face but uh, yeah I have to blend it out and I was actually quite happy with uh, you know just dabbing on a little more and seeing how that looks and I have done this before I even went on with the blush there I added another layer on my right side and I was quite amused with my experiment initially but uh, eventually I uh, was pretty happy and I decided to try this Flower Beauty's Flower Pots Blush in Sweet Pea I wasn't sure I had tried it earlier on and it was very very subtle English rose pink and of course I always over blend my blush because I like it very very soft I'm sure you can't see anything on camera but uh, in person it did add that little soft uh, pink on my cheek and I will not go very heavy with a pink blush uh, in my pink look if I intend to wear a bright pink lipstick which I did intend to wear so I was very happy to keep my blush very minimal and I went again with that classic gold highlighter because I wanted that to be there slightly you know making it look a little more shiny or sheeny on my cheek after I did the blush and I wanted the glow to be looking from within so I added the major layer before I added the blush and then I added a little more post the blush I love that effect always it, it even you know the, the way it just looks like it's coming from underneath the blush and whatever was left on the brush I just lightly dabbed it in the center of my face now this is my most favorite color bars just smoky kajal and just brown always my savior when I just want to very lightly define my waterline I just use it on the edges of my eye and use a smudger to kind of drag that color all the way in so that it has like a faded look towards the inner corners of my eyes and this effect always works very well for me because it still keeps it very natural and nice this is my eyelash curler and packs waterproof mascara that really works well for me super quick job done and then I move on to this beautiful lipstick from faces Canada this is in the shade girl next door a nice popping bright pink and of course I love the formula I have featured all the shades 33 shades on my channel you can check that out I'll try to link that up above this will completely lift my look all that subtlety and all of that now you would know the Lakme absolute Karina Khan lip liner in the shade salmon that I just used to kind of polish the outside of my lip basically whatever I wear I like to wear it well and you know uh, less is more you can see the entire look is very wearable you can even go grocery shopping in this look and have heads turn <laughs> you can go ahead and uh, you know wear a fixing spray I didn't want to do it because I didn't feel I did not powder it so much there's not so many layers so I didn't feel the need already it's quite dewy 
so I thought it, it's fine I don't want to add a fixing spray but it's totally up to you it's a very fresh makeup look I have not used any contouring products at all either on my chin nose anywhere it's very fresh yet it accentuates your features perfectly well without any contouring this is such a happy sari I'm gonna continue wearing this for the next video I'm shooting which is the Nika Lux lipsticks so if you'd like that continue with me and uh, I'll place the link above as soon as it's ready I'm very excited to be wearing saris on my channel now because I am a huge sari lover if you are type sari lover in the comments so I know how many of you really love saris and um, if you'd like me to wear more of them also just type sari lover yes do follow me on Instagram this sari edit that you're seeing the sari clippings I made for Instagram I'm just sharing it here because a lot of you are not on Instagram but in future I would be only posting it there so follow me there it's just joy Geeks on Instagram see you